What's happening everybody? Big news for basically next season and like the end of this season. I bought a boat and I've been truly inspired by Steve Rinella's DOS boat or DOS boat, depending on what season you're watching, where they take a cheap aluminum boat, put a brand new Honda motor on it because they're sponsored by it, of course, and the Yeti coolers and all that jazz, buying a cheap aluminum boat and doing work to it and making it functional and fishing in a bunch of different fisheries with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do some crazy series about it, but it's a 2001 Lunker V16 LTD mag series. It was owned by an older gentleman that passed away and then some uh, other guy bought it and I bought it off him for a whopping $5,000. So it's got the Evinrude E-Tech 50 on it, which goes good. We've already been on the lake with it. Um, it's got more seats in my canoe. It's got a trolling motor guide, trolling motor up top, which I'll probably replace at some point and put like, you know, something with spot lock on it. Um, foot control. It's got battery box here. It's got like a live well on that side, some rod storage on this side. Of course, some like mahogany decking for like a stool. And it's tiller steer. So it's got plenty of room for my family and me and friends. And you always see someone, you know, you always see someone out in my boat with me for the most part. Uh, Cause I'd like to like invite people out and, and go fishing with them. And it's not as boring. And I get to like, you know, bounce ideas and talk to them out in the boat, um, which makes it more fun. So. I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff to this boat uh, and I'm gonna to try to like document most of it. But what I'm gonna do first off is some of the wiring is Mickey Mouse. So I have to go through all the safety items first. So last night on the way home, I bought a spare tire cause I didn't have a spare tire. Um, I put new Carlisle tires on it this morning. Um, cost me 126 bucks. I'm gonna be blatant about all the costs and stuff like that. So new tires, safety chains and all that stuff is fine. I am going to be replacing the winch strap because it's pretty faded. I couldn't find one last night at Tractor Supply. Um, what else am I going to do to this, this bad boy? It's got some gouges, one gouge on it, like everything else. I don't know if you guys can see into there, but it is absolutely pristine. No scratches at all. Like the guy had it on his dock and I'm guessing what, that's what this is. It's kind of like dock rash um, from being up against bumpers. And the motor is 2008, 2009 and it's got probably very little hours on it. So I am gonna go an overhaul, not overhaul. I'm gonna replace the water pump this winter and do the gear oil before winter comes at kind of the same time. I'm gonna install the Hummingbird on it, the 10, of course, the Helix 10. Uh, I'm charging, trickle charging the battery now. It's got like a live well, like I said. I'm gonna get that up and running. He couldn't get it running. Mount the spare tire, um, mount all the GoPro equipment, and I'm gonna take off anything that my fly rod can get or my fly line can get hooked onto. So any of this, um, any of that cordage right there, I'm gonna shorten that all up, make sure that all works. Um, either get recess cleats or, or make my own cleats or something like that. Um, it did have spot for a binami top on it, but um, it didn't come with one. So I have to, I'm gonna take that off as well. Uh, mount the GoPro stuff on that. Um, I'm testing any fuse blocks or anything like that but it should be like a nice little striped bass, trout, everything, do it all kind of boat. It's got a pretty, it's really comfortable and flat. I mean, a uh, choppy water, which I was in yesterday. It's got a roller bunk trailer. Uh, so I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff to it and document it all for you guys. Um, I'm like super excited about it. Now, what I want your guys' feedback on is one thing. So the side is all kind of scratched up, as you guys can see. Uh, I'll show you guys the other side. So we got one dent on that side. Everything else is like pristine. It obviously needs to be clean. Hasn't been clean in probably 10 years at least. It's all kind of, you know, scratched up. This is just the paint's coming off on that side, right? And the white's coming off. What I want to do is wrap it. And let me know if I'm crazy. I'm not going to crazy wrap it with my logo or anything like that. What I want to do is like a striped bass, like just the stripes on the side, like just a close up pattern, kind of like repeated on the side. Either I'm gonna vinyl wrap it or I'm gonna have someone like come and paint it. And then on the other side, I wanna do like a brown trout, a rainbow trout or a brook trout kind of coloring and pattern on, on the other side. So make it like a, a universal kind of cool looking boat instead of just the, the old swoops and stuff like that, the old vinyl graphics. And then, you know, obviously redo the bow numbers and that kind of stuff to 
to basically pretty it up. And I'm not that kind of person. I'm always like utilitarian when it comes to boats. Uh, if it goes fast and I don't have to row it, well, that's it. That's all I care about. Um, and I'm not getting wet in like one foot waves. So that's it. It's going to be my buggy vehicle for the rest of this year and into next year, obviously. Um, and that's it. I mean, it's, I'm super, super happy to have a boat finally. It's been four years, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a boat. At, uh, two and a half years, maybe three years. Feels like an eternity. Uh, I've been basically powering around the canoe. So, got a lot of work to do to it. Follow along for the ride. And uh, you'll see lots, lots and lots of videos coming out of this. Um, I'm going, I am going something with it tomorrow. Um, hopefully I get a good video out of that. If not, I'll just kind of do some drone footage of it flying around and I'll still go out in the canoe. I promise you guys. I know some, a lot of you guys have like kayaks and canoes and want to see that, you know, cheaper version of going out and, and still catching fish. So I try to do both for you guys. And that's it. So let me know what you guys think about the vinyl wrap and stuff. Cause I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. I don't know if anybody's, let me know if you guys do it or you've done it before. I would have someone professionally do it. Um, but I also don't want it to look like corny and, and like flames on the side. I just want like cool fish patterns, like fish scales or, or an actual like striped bass pattern and trout on the other side. Um, cause I think it looks cool. And it's going to look cooler than that. I'd upgrade this 2001 paint color seam. Uh, I'm also going to do the safety straps on it. So I don't have to have the ratchet strap, charge all the batteries, put a bank charger in there, put the hummingbird on there, upgrade the trolling motor on the front. So that'll be for sale probably this winter if I get get the money to do it and uh and that's it so super excited about having a boat um even though it's the end of the season and ice fishing starting probably two months from now um but i'm not scared of busting ice with this thing because it's a beast so let me know in the comments below what do you guys want to see for like the, the wraps on the side um or if i'm just crazy and thinking that like striped bass and, and a trout on one side would be not the silhouette of a trout, but like the, the scale pattern, like the dots of like a stri or the scale pattern of a striped bass, and the dots of a trout. So I need your guys' feedback on that, or I'm not gonna do anything at all. I also haven't got prices on any of that stuff yet. So I wanna make sure everything's functional first. Take it out tomorrow, get all the kinks worked out, ro rig all the GoPro stuff up on there, um, and have a good time. All right, thanks guys for watching.